Hello, hello! Welcome back. Uh, this is my first Clash Royale video, but we're going to see what we can do. So the Fireball Challenge woke up today, and the Fireball Challenge is on, which I'm kind of like new slash old. Uh, I took kind of a break from Clash Royale and came back, I guess, just last week. So is it that these challenges come up every Wednesday? I really don't know. If you can, comment below and tell me the answer to that. I was not expecting a challenge today. Didn't know when it was coming, but it happened to be the Fireball one. And as you can see, I'm doing pretty good. Got four wins in a row, no losses. Uh, the deal with this challenge is you're trying to get six wins, um, and you can get up to three losses, but three strikes and you're out. And at each of those little checkpoints you can see, you get some Fireball cards, and then you get the most, obviously, if you get six wins. Um, with this one, you have to use Fireball. Fireball is locked in as one of your cards in your deck, but then you literally, which this is really cool, I don't have all the cards, but you literally have your picking, I think, of absolutely any card. So you can build a deck. And I want to show you guys the deck that I've been rolling with. Um, I actually used it. You can see uh, there's Papa Nugget. Shout out to him. He's, I, I suggested this deck to the clan, to my clan, Aces High, and Papa Nugget took me up on the offer. Um, he played through it and won. It looks like he only lost one game. So let me go back to this deck real quick and show you what I got. I got the Electro Wizard, Sparky, uh, the Baby Dragon, the Night Witch, the Log, the Skeletons, and the Goblin Gang, or Squad as I like to call them. So let me first show you guys um, one of my... There's some of my defeats. Let me show you guys this. I believe that this is... Oh, that's wrong. Went to the wrong one. Sorry, common mistake. Uh, let me show you one of the victories from this. There it is. And kind of show you how I rolled with this deck. And then we will try to get these last two wins. So here's what I'm really trying to do is you're using the Sparky as your tank. And then surrounding it well and pushing... Um, so that the Sparky can get to the tower and so that you can take it down. So I dropped the Sparky in the back. Um, I like to follow it up with the Night Witch. I actually don't have the Sparky or the Night Witch um, as my regular card, so it's really fun to use them. Uh, but you can kind of use the Sparky, you'll see. So he just dropped the Princess and immediately the Sparky took it out. You're really like using the Sparky. The reason you try to drop it so far back is twofold to build your attack. Uh, but then also to use the Sparky as a defense. Um, I think it was a princess that he dropped before. So see how the Sparky's like taking stuff out? The Electro Wizard right there um, attracts the tower's uh, arrows. And so, I mean, I already got over half, I mean, really three-fourths of that tower down. So I'm going to drop the Sparky here, and I kind of already see like what he has. He's going to try to roll the Golem. Um and try to use that as his push. Right here, um, what comes with the bandit, really, I mean, you wanna try to block the bandit because the bandit can sneak in there and do some dirty damage. So I dropped the goblin gang, and now I'm gonna restart my push. So he brings the electro wizard. I probably dropped baby dragon a little early because now the electro wizard isn't gonna get hit by my tower, but it's not that big of a deal um, because I still took out the princess with the baby dragon. And now my push is on. I think I even destroy this, yep, before the Sparky even gets there. So you can see the Sparky, they just took out a whole Goblin Gang. I mean, this, this guy really doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know how to defend. Um, honestly, the only thing that can kind of defend this attack is if you have, um, like, a free spell or something. But, yeah, I end up pretty much taking out this tower. So the big deal, and something I haven't yet mentioned, is that you really want to focus your push all on one side and even if they try to attack on your other side you just need to keep going so let's jump into a battle and try to do just that I always like to say good luck be really friendly uh, but then if they spam I kind of follow suit and spam as well so he's gonna do that I'm okay with it just pretty much trying to block the fence right there before I can start my push. So I'm going to drop the Sparky and a little Night Witch action and then we'll see. Okay so he's got Big Daddy right there and notice again like the Sparky 
man really helped out defense wise and now I can push so I don't know um, okay okay yes I don't know uh, how practical this deck is outside of this fireball challenge um, I actually don't really like to use the fireball in my decks that may be a weakness of mine this person has probably already given up because I see how powerful this thing is um, I'm actually gonna drop oh he was smart So really the thing you want to do with the knight, if you don't already know, is you just want to stop it. So even dropping something really small costs one elixir, um, like the skeletons, that's going to be really helpful. And because this guy is pushing this side, um, I'm going to actually keep defending it. I'm not going to try to push. One thing that I may have needed to do to this one is and that's gonna kill my tower probably but is um add a tornado in here that could be helpful it just might take away from some of the other areas so wherever this guy's pushing um is really where i want to counter push and attack as well let's see yep see so see how i drop my skeletons kind of to the side there and again the sparky came in here and really did work helping me out on D let's see if we can't get at this tower something that, that you need to know about the electro wizard is you really want to drop him um, on and watch you really want to drop the Electro Wizard on top of a troop so that when it slams down, it does damage on him. If that makes sense. So let's see, we're kind of struggling. I feel like my nerves are my nerves are getting to me. I'm going to use the fireball to go ahead and stop that push. I mean, you really can use these skeletons in a major way. See how you can just, that this massive dude, you can just pull him back. Mama, mama skeleton. You can really just pull him back um, with any troop. All right, so he's coming with baby drag. So Sparky's going to kill this, and we're going to hope and pray that he survives. He does indeed. Let's see if I can get... Oh, I can't do it. Alright. Probably should have waited there. Oop, that was a miscue on my part. Hopefully it doesn't cost me. Um, I actually should, if I can cycle through here, back to my... Go ahead. All right, cycle back to Fireball, and this should lock up the win. Yes, there we go. All right, so we're one win away from sweeping. Tell him good luck. He didn't spam or anything. One went away from sweeping the challenge. All right, we're just going to go ahead and jump back into it. A lot of people are playing the challenge, so you shouldn't have any trouble getting into a game. Let's see if we can do this right here. All right, so again, I'm going to start out with the Sparky. Try to push. He's going to counter with the Executioner. All right. So you do have to be weary about the Executioner, you kind of want to come from multiple angles. Um, here we go. So here's what I'm really hoping for, is that the Sparky shoots that down. I'm going to go ahead, because here's what I know, is the Electro Wizard, if he can get to the tower, he's going to stop. Oh, darn it. That was good by him. 
So the Electro Wizard, once you slam down, you can throw a Goblin Gang on him because he's not going to do a lot of damage um, if he's already locked onto your tower. So you can kind of let him go after the tower, like that's fine, you can give that up. Alright. Bring in the Baby Drag. He drops the Pekka. I think that should be able to win this one. Already got pretty big advantage. I probably should have just let that happen and let my bats do their thing on him, but oh well. Alright, getting pretty nice. Now I'm going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with his Electro Wizard just to avoid any kind of nasty damage. Man, it looks like we're going to get pretty close. Actually, I'm just going to do the cycle. So here, remember when you're trying to cycle, you want to do the things that take up the least elixir. And we're going to get this win here. So now all we have to do is survive for 30 seconds. He drops Goblin Gang. I mean, he didn't get any damage on my tower so far. And then watch, we'll fireball him. It's done. That fatty. I mean, we want to make sure he doesn't get a hit in, but that's not going to be a problem. There we go. Man, so it's that easy. So once we take out that first tower, it really was just a matter. And honestly, like if we could have gotten a big push in there, I was just trying to get this win. There you go. So I just got six in a row with that awesome. Then you just click on little fireball, you get 15. Again, I don't really use the fireball, so that's not a huge deal for me. But you do get a chest. Let's see what we got here. 500 gold, almost 600. More fireball cards. Spear goblins. Goblin Barrel, not too shabby. Man, so, and then you can play as many times as you want. So, especially if you really want more Fireball cards, if you're trying to level that Fireball up, just run that exact same deck again. Um, let me see. Yep, all you gotta do is, oh, actually, <laughs> that's good to know. So see all the check marks? That means that you can't get those Fireball cards again. But I can still run, run this deck, and at the end of it, you get that, um, that nice, little bonus that little chest and uh yeah maybe you'll get more fireball cards in there so hey i hope this helps you um just like it did pop a nugget and just like it did me i mean i i sweat that whole challenge so let me know if this works for you by commenting down below and you can like subscribe uh, tell me what you want to see next hope this helps see ya